In this video, I'll make my very own Cybertruck that can do crazy donuts. And if you don't know, I've already made a version 1 and a version 2 previously. You can check them out on my channel. But for this build, let's get started. Since the body this time around will be completely 3D printed, I'm using Pet G to make it stronger and lighter. Next, it was time to head over to Fusion 360 to design. Trust me when I say this, this took forever, but it turned out great and I'm very happy with it. And yeah, they do take a few minutes to 3D print. And now, we gotta design the mechanical part. So, while I'm designing this, let me take a while to explain its configuration. This one would be a rear wheel drive, all wheel individual suspension Cybertruck, which is fully remote controlled, and it can do some crazy donuts. And how can these prototyping machines not fail? Anyway, let's fix it and continue. Now, with all of our parts designed, let's put it in place and sand it down. Apply primer and spray paint. And finally assemble the parts using epoxy and PLA welding. PLA welding is when you take two separate components together and melt them so that the infused plastic joins them together. The bottom bumpers are taking shape. Now we just go ahead back and forth with Bondo and Primer filling up any irregularities. Lastly, correct any mismatches and you're done for the most part. For the color upon asking part, I was very tempted to go for chrome red but still I went for the original color. Now for the electronics. We start by unboxing this beautiful FSI 6 transmitter along with its 6 channel receiver. Gather our arsenal of electronics which includes the ESC, battery, motor, connect them all. And essentially you're done with electronics. This might look simple but that's because it was already been researched upon. And while working on a project, how can we not encounter problems? But there's no problem that I can't fix. Or so I thought. More on that with later. That it's now time to prototype the chassis and shockers, which are the more mechanical aspect. But the best part about all this is that they just take a few seconds to print. And if you're wondering, yeah, my table was a mess throughout the bit. But anyway, remove the supports and get it ready for assembly. This is the final version of the shocker. All you gotta do is design a prototype, experiment with other stuff, and this is how it works until you get the optimal model. After four tries, design a motor connector and the hinges that connect the connector to the chest. It's now finally time to assemble everything together. And while I was doing that, I could clearly see my Fusion 360 vision come to life. There are a ton of these small pieces and it's just like assembling a Lego wherein you are the one who designed all of the parts. The whole printing process took more than a kilogram of bed G. But remember one thing, prints fail, wires go pale, but this is my Cybertruck and it shall always hail. Now although it's not ready, it'll be unfair not to take it for a spin. So let's take it exactly for a spin. This is clearly ridiculously overpowered, it was blowing sand all over. And it led to this. Not a worry for this was a surprisingly easy fix, but this was nothing compared to what was coming up. While figuring out how it'll be reversed, it almost caught fire. The motor jerks out, doesn't work. Basically, both of these ESCs are toast. Time to order new ones. After all, it's all a part of learning. This set me back days because I had to essentially rewire everything. But anyway, with that sorted out, we can add this plastic cover to prevent sand from getting in. Join the bottom mud cuts to the body, add the front light, the back light, and we should be finally good to go. The best part is that this doesn't have any traction control, so that's why you can do stuff like this. It's complete with the reverse feature, launch control, handbrake, you name it, and we've almost caught it. This is a rear wheel drive front steering individual suspension Cybertruck that just rips. Apart from off-roading, I think it's best in doing this. almost so hard to control it because of how powerful it is. This was a very enjoyable build, not a spoiler but a uh, Cybertruck version 4 will also come in the near future and this was pretty much it for this video. It looks very accurate and overall I'm highly satisfied.